Hello everyone, I'm Yu Zhe from MIT. I'm going to present our work, Rethinking the Value of Labels for Improving Class Imbalance Learning. Imbalanced data is ubiquitous in the real world, where large-scale datasets often exhibit long-tail label distributions. This phenomenon ranges across different applications, such as image recognition and object detection. Moreover, for critical applications related to safety or health, such as autonomous driving and medical diagnosis, the data are by their nature heavily imbalanced. This poses a great challenge for modern deep learning frameworks. Yet, different from balanced data, in class imbalanced learning, there is an interesting dilemma on the value of the imbalanced labels. First, supervision from labels typically leads to better results than its unsupervised counterparts, demonstrating the positive value of imbalanced labels. However, heavily imbalanced data naturally incur label bias in the classifier, where the decision boundary can be drastically alerted by the majority classes, showing the negative impact of labels. Hence, the imbalanced label seems to be a double-edged sword. So, how can we maximally exploit the value of labels to improve class imbalanced learning? In this work, we demonstrate that both of the two viewpoints can be effectively exploited in semi-supervised and self-supervised manners, respectively, to significantly improve class imbalanced learning. Specifically, we first confirm that, given more unlabeled data, the imbalanced label information can be leveraged to substantially improve the results even when the unlabeled data is also highly imbalanced. Next, we verify that imbalanced labels are not always useful. By removing the label information and using self-supervised pre-training in the first learning stage, the resulting models consistently outperform their baselines, regardless of settings and base training techniques. To gain additional insight, we further look into the learned representations for different methods. First, in semi-supervised setting, we can see that the originally imbalanced dataset can lead to poor class separation, particularly for the tail classes. In contrast, by leveraging unlabeled data, the boundary of tail classes can be better shaped, leading to clear separation and better performance. Next, for self-supervised setting, again, the decision boundary of Valina models can be greatly alerted by the head classes, which result in the large leakage of nearby tail classes during inference. In contrast, using self-supervised pre-training sustains clear separation with less leakage, especially between nearby head and tail classes. Finally, we perform extensive experiments on large-scale imbalanced datasets and demonstrate that both of the two frameworks can lead to substantially better results than previous methods. Such superior performance are consistent across different datasets as well as different learning techniques. As a final remark, we have also provided theoretical analysis on the success of these two frameworks. Please also check out our code and models. Thank you for listening.